Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we are doing another game from our 1930 Washington Senators season using Action PC Baseball. Uh, if you've been following the season, you know that Washington has been in first place all season long. And we have moved ahead in the schedule to August 2nd, and that still is the case. We still have a two-game lead over the Philadelphia Athletics and the New York Yankees, and four and a half over Cleveland. And we are playing one of those teams today. We're playing the New York Yankees today with a two-game lead on them. I'm going to uh, sim all of the other games so that we can play that game against the Yankees. So this is uh, really a very a very good uh, pennant race that we've got going on here. Um, it's even a good pennant race over in the um, over in the NL because you've got Chicago still within two games of St. Louis, but St. Louis, you know, winning that division or winning that the National League. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to play the game against the Yankees. Um, I'm going to be the human. New York is going to be the computer. Uh, I think I just need to say play. We will go with the, um, as we always do, we'll go with the computer. I mean, you know, the computer lineup has got us in first place, so. I am not going to uh, differentiate from that. And Firpo Marbury will be pitching for us today. But our lineup is going to be Meyer at second base, Rice in right field, Manoush in left, the old Cronin at shortstop, Judge will be the first baseman, Sammy West will be in center, Ozzy Bluge will be at third base, Muddy Rule will be the catcher, and Marbury picking up the rear and pitching. And so we will get underway. Now, that's a very nice picture of Yankee Stadium, although it's a little bit more modern than it probably was in 1930. But I digress. We will let Meyer hit away. Looks like he's going to ground out. And that is exactly what happens. There's one away. And um, Rice is the batter. Look at that man. Look at that Yankee team. I mean, look at their defense. You've got Dickey at catcher, Garrig at first, Ruth out and right, uh, Reese at second base, Harry Rice in center, Lazari at third, Combs in left. This is a man. How are the Yankees two games behind us? Was that a home run? What? A home run? Dang. That was crazy. Manoush hit a home run for us. All right, well, I'll take it, you know. And uh, that's going to be a walk. So we've got Cronin at first base with Judge up. And Judge is going to hit a bouncer. Let's see if he can beat it out. No, he cannot. And so we're in the field. Uh, you can see defensively we got Rule at catcher, Judge at first, Meyer at second. Cronin at short, Bluge at third, Manoush in left, West in center, Rice out in right, and Marbury pitching. And he's pitching to Frank, what, I don't know, Larry Frank Larry, is that his name? I don't know what his name is. He was safe, though. So Larry is aboard, and, uh, or no, Combs. That was Combs. And now Larry is up. And Larry gets a base hit. Is the runner going to go to third? No. So they got runners at first and second, and Babe Ruth up. You really don't want to see that, but Ruth hits a dribbler. And um, a Judge plays it over to Meyer to get the out. There's one down, but Larry and Combs are now at second and third with Gehrig up. Again, you don't want to see that. But he bounces out. To <laughs> this is crazy. Their two biggest bomb hitters just hit little dribblers, whereas their table-setting guys... Um, got on, got big hits, and now Lazari is up, and Lazari is going to hopefully fly out, and it looks like he does. And so, we will maintain the one nothing lead and come to bat with Sammy West. 
And Sammy West just pops out to the pitcher. Blue Edge is up. Blue Edge looks like he might hit it in the gap. No, Ruth gets there. So uh, Muddy Rule is up with two down, nobody on. And Muddy Rule is going to get a base hit uh, through the left side. And uh, Marbury is the pitcher and the hitter right now. And he's just going to hit a pop-up to second. So we have a one nothing lead going to the bottom of the, the second inning, and that's going to be a great play out. And now Reese is up, and Reese hits a real deep ball, but it looks like we made the play, and there is two down. And, uh, no, now Reese is up. God, I know. Anyway, so uh, Reese looks like he'll be out. So we're at the plate, top of the third inning. We are winning one nothing over the Yankees, and Meyer, 0 for 1 on the day, is going to line out to Reese at second. Rice is 0 for 1 on the day, and he is going to hit a dribbler uh, over to um, the third baseman, and he gets thrown out. Lazari throws him out. And Manouche. Manouche one for one today and he walks. So we got a runner aboard with two down and the old Cronin is up. And he's going to hit uh, what it looks like a center to, uh, single to center field. And we are going to advance. The runner at, uh, that was at first is going to advance to third. So we got runners at the corners with two down. A nice chance to score here with Joe Judge up. But he's going to bounce out. To, did he? He did. He bounced out to the pitcher, and so we do get out of that inning. Um, uh, Furpo Marbury on the year has 313 earned run average for us, um, and he's going to deal to Sherrod, and that's going to be an out, so Combs is up. Combs hitting it deep down into the right field corner, but it's going to be an out. And that brings up Larry, who's one for one. And this should be a fly out to left, and it is. And we go to the top of the fourth, clinging ever so tightly to a one to nothing lead. And uh, West, Sammy West is the batter, and he is up, and he is going to hit a fly ball to center and bluish is up and bluish is going to be thrown out by Lazari it looks like no was that an error that what might have been an error yeah an error on the first baseman after Lazari made a great play to try to get him so rule is up and rule walks so we got two guys on here with only one out and Marbury is up, and I am going to sacrifice Bunt with Marbury. Did it work? It doesn't look like it's going to work. It looks like Lazari's right there to make that play in slow motion. And he is, and that's two down, and Meyer is up. And Meyer is going to fly out to Ruth. So we don't get any runs there, although, you know, we gave it the old college try. Now here's Ruth. And Ruth does hit the ball through the right-hand side for a single with Gehrig up, and he is 0 for 1 on the day. And he's going. it looks like he's going to foul out to the catcher for the first out of the inning. With Ruth aboard, Lazari is up, and he's going to walk. So Marbury's in a little bit of trouble here. Dickey is the batter, and Dickey is going to hit it through the left-hand side. Is there going to be an advancement? No. So the bases are loaded. Bases loaded, one out. I'm going to play back for the double play. Rice is the batter. And it looks like the, he made the, yes, web gem. He made a great catch. There is two down, and Reese is the batter. And that's going to be an out. So we got out of that situation. How'd you like that? If I brought the infield in, that was probably a base hit. So we're up in the top of the fifth inning. And that's going to be a fly out to center field. Manouche is up. He's one for one on the day, and I think he walked too. But he's out there, and Cronin's up with two down and nobody on. And it looks like he's going to bounce out to shortstop. 
And he does. So, Marbury back out to the mound. Back to work. Bottom of the fifth. It seems like this game is in the 15th inning. But no, it's only in the bottom of the fifth. And Combs is up with one down. And that is going to be a pop out to shortstop. So, there is two down. And Larry is the batter. And Larry, it looks like, is going to pop out to shortstop. So, we... Still maintain that one nothing lead. Man, this is a key game in a key pennant race, and the game is as tight as you could want it to be with Joe Judge up at the plate, and he's going to fly out to right. That brings up Sammy West. Sammy West, we got to get some runs. We got to get a little bit of a cushion here. He flies out to center, and uh, Blue Edge is the batter, and he is out. So... Ruth at the plate. Ruth is one for one. And uh, it looks like Gehrig in the on deck circle there. Um, so we are going to, we're going to pitch to Ruth. Did Ruth hit it out? It looks like Ruth, no, he flies out to right field. There's one down. Gehrig up. He's 0 for 2. And he's going to line out to the second baseman. And that brings up Lazari. We are holding this Murderer's Row New York Yankee team in check. And there is, oh, yeah, there's no advancement. No, there's two outs. Two outs, and it looks like just a runner at first base. And, uh, and Bill Dickey is the batter, and he walks. And that brings up Rice. Harry Rice. Harry Rice hitting it into the corner. Judge going to play, or not judge, someone going to play it and making the play. So we got rule up at the at the plate. We are back in control at the plate, top of the seventh inning, clinging to a one nothing lead. And that's going to be a fly out to center field. And Marbury is the batter. I'm letting Marbury, I mean, he is pitching a gem, so I'm going to let him go as long as he can possibly go. But he is thrown out. And that is two down with Meyer up. And Meyer looks like he's going to bounce out for the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh with Reese, the batter. He just threw out the last batter of the inning for us. There's one down there. Marbury is pitching a gem. Sherrod is the batter. Probably part of the reason why we are in first place, even though the Athletics really won the American League is that Marbury is pitching much better than he did in real life. Crazily much better, but there's going to be an error there, and Combs is safe with Larry up and two down. But it looks like that's going to be a fly to left. And so the Yankees go down there. We go to the top of the eighth. Could you want anything better than this? A one nothing. Well, I mean, if you were either team, you really could. So what is that going to be, a double, maybe a triple? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a triple. Triple down the right field line for Rice, and that brings Manoush up. And Manoush is going to hit, get a base hit and give us a little bit of a cushion, and it is 2 nothing. Washington with the old Cronin up, and he is going to be out. Judge is up with only one down and a man at first. And he's going to hit it, and that's going to maybe be a double right there. And it could be a run-scoring double, and it is. It gives us, it's a triple. It's a run-scoring triple, and it gives us, or it was a double and an error, something like that. But the important thing is that we've got our second run of the inning to take a 3 nothing lead, but that's going to be a foul out to Dickey. So, and he makes a great play on it. Nonetheless, Blue Edge is up with a runner just 90 feet away. We could use to have him in, and it is going to happen. So now all of a sudden we got a 4 nothing lead. Now that looks insurmountable for the Yankees to come back, but I, you know, I don't want to jinx myself. This is the Yankees, the Murderer's Row Yankees. I mean, they were in the Murderer's Row for several years. All right, so Ruth is at the plate, and Marbury is strong, so we are going to let him keep pitching. I mean, why not? He's only pit thrown 113 pitches, and this is 1930. But Ruth is going to go deep, and he's going to bring the Yankees a little closer. So we now have a uh, four, four to one situation here. 
Lazari is up. Lazari hits it deep, but the left fielder's going to make the play. And so there's one. Oh, wait a minute. No, may, maybe that. Well, I don't know. So anyway, it looks like Lazari is now up and he's out. So there's two down and Dickey is up. Bill Dickey, and Bill Dickey is going to pop out to second. So the Yankees get a run on a Babe Ruth home run, and we go to the top of the ninth. In control, Marbury's up, not pinch hitting for him, and he hits it. He gets a base hit through the right-hand side or uh, a base hit and an error by Ruth. But anyway, Marbury is at second base. I'm going to sacrifice Bunt with Meyer. And uh, what happened there, he's still up. That was a foul ball. And uh, I guess he's out. Yeah, he's out. So that's one down with Rice up. He couldn't get the bunt down. But Rice walks. And uh, Manoush is up. And Manoush is going to line out to second base. So uh, we have two on with two down. And Cronin, the batter, and Cronin is going to is going to bounce out to the pitcher. And we're going to the bottom of the ninth. The Yankees need three runs here. They have Harry Rice to lead it off. He hits it deep into the right field corner, but it is played for an out. And uh, Reese is up. He's 0 for 3 on the day, but he hits. He gets a base hit there. Might be a double or a triple even. And it is going to be a triple. So the Yankees are coming to life. It's a good thing we had that big inning uh, back in the eighth. Because we may need that. Okay, Dusty Cook is pinch hitting for the Yankees. And that's going to be a base hit, and that's going to be the second run for the Yankees. So now it is four to 4-2, and Combs is the batter. Where well, I'm just hoping we can get out of this. That is a deep fly to center field, but nevertheless, it is an out. And so there's two down. And Larry is the batter for the Yankees. And that might be the game right there. And it is. And so we win this one 4-2. to two, And we open up our lead on the Yankees to uh, three games over the Yanks. And we will take a look at the uh, box score. I'll let you take a, you know, take a minute here and take a look at the box score. Look at these batting averages. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, that's basically why we're winning this. But, I mean, even what? Ru well, Ruth is hitting 373 and Garrig at 389. But, I mean, us, man. Rice at 377, Meyer at 320, Manoush at 391, Cronin 375, Judge 363. Those are crazy batting averages. Even Marbury's hitting 325. So Marbury goes nine, he allows eight hits, two earned runs, one home run, and that was to Ruth, and has a 311 earned run average on the year. And so let's take a look. And uh, yeah, they'll readjust it here. And so you can see um, we have now a one game lead over Philadelphia, but what? Why is it only a, still a two-game lead over the Yankees? Um, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we are still in first place, all, albeit maybe tentatively. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.